everybody. I'm here today with Jasmine Sandler. Uh, Jasmine is a digital marketing specialist. Her company is JS Media, which has been in existence for, I believe, over 15 years. Yes. Um, she has given over 500 social media keynote speeches, specifically on social media strategy. And one of my favorite things about her on her list, as you can see in her background, is that she is the um, creator and host of a podcast called Warrior Women in Business. And I'm definitely going to be asking her a little bit about that. So welcome, Jasmine. So I've been in digital, you know, well over 15 years. And when I started um, my own business, I actually started and sold a social network very early on. And because of all that I learned there and all that I did there, I was then, I then started to consult for other agencies that didn't have digital as part of their capabilities. They were being their speaker across the country around digital marketing. And I had all of these small business owners coming up to me saying, hey, you know what, can you consult for me? And I was like, a light bulb went off. I was like, you know what, I need to start my own business. So I started a digital agency, uh, I think it was towards the end of 2006, with the intention of providing an agency level of professional services to entrepreneurs and small business owners. And so that started the company agency, which has now evolved over time into really JS Media and Warrior Women in Business, because uh, what I've seen is this, which I'm really happy about, uh, and how we connected, is this, this momentum towards more women starting their own businesses. you've laid everything out and you've kind of run it by people and people have given you their feedback and you've adjusted and recalibrated and now you have something that feels pretty tangible and now you're ready to kind of take the next step. Yeah. So what starts a business? I'm going to, oh, I'm going to keep talking about money because it's just so important. What starts a business is capital. And so I'm going to start with money. So you have to understand where your sources of capital are. A business isn't done for $50, you know? I mean, it takes a, an investment of capital. So here, so, you, so I would say you need, a, I love spreadsheets, love spreadsheets. You don't they, strike me as a person who likes spreadsheets. Though. I know, it's funny, I don't, but they are your- Left brain and right brain together, so. Yeah, they're my best friend. I love <laughs> spreadsheets. So have a spreadsheet <laughs> because you're gonna need a budget and it's kind of fun, you know? Um, so you need some line items there, right? So what's obviously your marketing budget. If you're in product like you, right? So there's sourcing, yeah. fabric, sewing, yeah. cutting, production, distribution, warehousing, fulfillment. I could go on and on and on. Yeah, I I've, could too. It's a long list. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. So I've developed a lot of budgets. So it does cost a lot of money. So having a budget and a realistic budget because too many business owners come to me and they want my help or they want my resources, whomever, like a finance person or someone like that. And they have, and I always say, what's your budget? I don't know. I'm like, well, you, if you don't know what your budget is, how do you know how much money, you know, how do you know what your profitability is going to be? You can't understand your profitability if you don't understand your budget. So, and people always look to it, these things as an expense, but it's not, it's an investment. So, so for example, if you um, think you're going to sell, let's say a piece of clothing for a hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. um, you think, oh, you know, the market demand is out there. I'm going to sell this piece of clothing for a hundred dollars, but you don't understand what your budget is. And then you go to someone and they tell you, well, this piece of clothing, you know, you you're in a very saturated market. <laughs> um, your target audience is not going to spend a hundred dollars. And if they do, it'll be once a year, you know? Um, and you know, for you to be able to sell one item for a hundred dollars, you're going to have to spend, I don't know, I'm just making this up $5,000 in, in marketing or whatever it is. Then you're basically starting a business at a loss right? without even getting started. So that's why I say, even though I'm a marketing and branding person, people, that's how they position me. But I have so much experience that I actually start with the structure and the finances because it's, it's critical. So you have to have a budget and the budget will help you determine your price points 
And once you understand your price points, then you can kind of figure out, okay, I, this is how I want to go after my business in terms of markets, right? So a lot of business owners, a lot of business, I've been doing SEO forever and business owners always say, I want to do global SEO. And I always say, do you really, do you know how much money that costs to market your business globally? Can you really fulfill that? Are you right. going to have customer service in X number of countries? That's the first thing I think of the customer service on that is. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so you need for a good business right now. So you do. And so you need a budget and a budget will, even if you don't, even if you have a starting budget, it might be some ridiculous number, but at least it'll give you a, a financial picture of what that looks like. And then you can kind of backtrack and say, Oh, you know what? I don't want to market globally. Let me just start in my local area. Okay, that will reduce your marketing budget. That's much smarter. Oh, maybe I don't want to source in the United States. Maybe I want to go overseas. Maybe that will reduce my cost, you know, cost of goods. So I always start with the budget, actually. Yeah, no, and that's smart. Obviously, money is the biggest thing you think about when you're starting the business. And I, and I like that approach to thinking whether it's, yes, global or niche how that can affect, you know, um, the amount of money you have, or how the money you have can affect those choices that you make to, to be more successful. And it's okay to start out small and learn as you build, I think. Absolutely. So. But you're right. It's about having the basics, you know, right. and that takes time. And, and this is the perfect time. Exactly. To, this is the part. That's what I keep saying on my podcast. Like this is, this is the perfect time for you to th not just think about, Honestly, not just think about doing a business, but do. since everyone else is doing it, if you're yeah. going to do it, you actually have to pull um, the trigger. So Warrior Women in Business has become a big part of what I do. Uh, so JS Media is shifting more into all Warrior Women in Business. And one thing that I, I really do want to announce is we are launching a very significant online platform this year, um, which has been previously architected um, but we couldn't press go on it because of what happened with the economy. So the uh, online platform is intended to help female business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants by giving them a platform to spotlight their businesses and have a matching system where they will get matched with mentors, access to funding, and other business opportunities. That's amazing. I love that. Yeah. So what we're doing is actually we're doing a um, kind of a seed round for it right now through GoFundMe. I can share that link. Yeah. Um, yeah so that we're able to do it. And anybody that contributes to that will um, be their membership will be negated. So they won't need to pay a membership fee once, once it launches. So it's kind of cool. Uh, so we're doing that. And uh, yeah, so I, you can find me online <laughs> any time of day. Um, so I have jasminesandler.com is my, been my website forever for my keynote speaking and consulting work. Um, I do consults now mainly on Zoom for female entrepreneurs that are primarily stuck. They just need fast help. So I'm doing this $99, 30 minute consult, which is well below my market rate, just to move people forward who, who, who don't, who aren't ready for like full branding and marketing and retainer work that I normally do. Um, so I'm doing that and, um, and I'm really focused on warrior women in business. So I would say check us out, you know, on all our channels. Awesome. Thank you again, Jasmine. Oh, you're welcome. No, this has been wonderful.